Hi, and welcome to the SEO Podcast, Unknown Secrets of Internet Marketing. My name is Chris Burris. And my I, name is Charles Lewis. Man, I'm speaking so slow, you cut me off. <laughs> I am the owner of eWebStyle. Go. I, I don't know if I can continue in that language. <laughs> now I'm your internet marketing specialist. <laughs> All right. Uh, so it is Go Texans Day. Go Texas Day. Go Texan Day. Something like that. Yeah, the rodeo was kicking off here in Houston. They had the barbecue cook-off. They had the... You know, it's Go Texan Day. I don't have any cowboy hats, but I do have a Texan Texas hat. hat. Woo -hoo. So this is the time of year where you can actually drive around the freeways of Houston and see trail rides, yeah. like horses and carriages wagons and boys and, being pulled yeah. and chili cook-offs, and because you can see horses just by driving around. Period. Or yeah. definitely, uh, Cows, I was going to yeah. say, who was the client? Uh, Bonds Bonds Bonds, Mar Mar Bonds Mara. Cows. Yeah, definitely see those. But um, um, but yeah. So go take some day. All right, this is podcast number 226. Uh, as always, from our previous podcast, the tip is three, the three best blog comment practices. First, respond to comments. Yep. Two, delete spammy comments. Three, if good questions are asked, create a new blog post based on the questions. Yeah, comments, you know, user generated content usually comes from comments. And comments can be good or bad depending on how you moderate them. Unfortunately, most people don't moderate them. They leave their WordPress blog open or whatever type of blog it is, and people post comments, 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 and then you end up with a long list full of uh, spammy, bad comments. And that's not a good idea. What you want to do is moderate those. If they're full of spam and backlinks and things that have no regard or anything to the content you posted, delete those. Those are called spam. If people are actually asking pretty good questions and you can answer that question and it's still related to that article, then respond. Thank them for asking the question and respond. However, if somebody's asking questions that you could really go into enough detail about, take that opportunity oh. to create a new post, link it to that blog post, and even reference the new blog post in that comment. That way, that person can read it, click it, and proceed to absorb the new content you just published. See, that sounds like a good experience to the Google user, right? Like I read an article, there's some dialogue about it, then I got some stuff hanging off here. Then, <laughs> then I uh, then I look at the comments, and then there's a comment that actually looks pretty depth in, uh, involved, mm -hmm. and it actually leads to another article. Wow, that seems so content marketing. Yeah, seems like the right way to go. All right, please remember, we are your friendly local neighborhood top position snatches, where our mantra is... Don't be a douche. Do, that, <laughs> that was good. Yeah. I like that. A little twang in there, too. Uh, if you can, tweet now. You've got one of these devices. It's a cell phone that I'm holding up. If you guys uh, aren't watching, you can tweet uh, hashtag, hashtag SEO, SEO podcast. podcast. This is number 226. Be sure to tag us in it at Best SEO Podcast at eWebStyle. That way we can follow you back and do all of our social networking stuff. Uh, there are three ways that you could help us. You're probably wondering, how can I help these guys? They're so entertaining with their southern accents and all. Uh, but you can do three things you can do. One of them has three tasks. It's go onto iTunes, create an account, write a review. If you choose to, send us an email. Well, I, I think my voice is what? Write a review. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, send us an email. Uh, podcast, podcast at e-webstyle.com. The other thing you could do is you could go to our G Plus local page. We've made it really easy for you get to get to our G Plus local page. Here's what you want to do. You want to go to e-webstyle.com slash Google Plus or slash Google Plus or slash G Plus or slash G Plus. Uh, that's that's the way you do that. I'm getting some tweets that I'm, I'm interested in. Um, the other when you thing, go there, though, yeah. I want you to do several things. Oh, right? yeah. Put us in a circle, maybe, maybe a circle, maybe called Internet Marketing or Top Position Snatchers, anything like that. Give us a plus one. And then, um, and of course, uh, follow us back. That way we can link up with you. The other thing that you can do... Give us a review. A that's review. what I want you to do. Yeah, when you add a review there. there. That's the most important thing. Give us a review. Right and there. if you give us a review, it should be five, five stars. stars. The next thing I that you think could, of a cowboy way to say five, five stars. Five stars. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know if that was a cowboy. All, it was like, <laughs> the sick I'm cowboy. Like, yeah, I'm channel channeling Willie Nelson. Um, uh, the other thing that you can do, go to Facebook. Our Facebook page is facebook.com slash eWhipStyle. And on that page, you can write a review. There's a little section right over there on the right. You can write us a review there. You should also make that, sure that that review is five, five stars. stars. All right, we have a referral program. You send us a customer, they pay their bill, we pay you. I'm going to keep that simple. 
you can get a free website analysis. All you need to do <laughs> is go to e-webstyle.com and you will find a form somewhere where... Now, yeah. speaking of that, yeah. let me comment on this right now. Our current site, eWebStyle.com, if you go there in our right sidebar, you'll see this uh, free website analysis form. And right now, it's on every page. Uh, in about a week, we're going to be re we're going to be launching our redesign site. And so we, I want to get some feedback from you guys in regards to uh, our website analysis. We're debating on giving people an option to click and then fill it out or hover and then the form pops up and then you fill it out. And so uh, we will launch that, then we'll tweet and post about it, and we'll probably have a big podcast party. Uh, but I'll be looking for your feedback. Podcast at e-webstyle.com, and, and tell me what you guys think. Cool. Let's get right into some reviews. This is one. Actually, he submitted reviews on some of our other locations. This one is actually on iTunes. It's by Shark Technology. This podcast is a gold mine. No, we've read that one already. It sounds familiar, and I thought, and I knew we had seen it from him. Uh, by the way, Punch in the Face. To shark technology. Shark Jacob. To Jacob. Punch in the face. All right, let's hop into another one. Uh, this is on our G Plus local page. I have Appreciate listened. It. This is David Jameson. I've, I've listened to other podcasts about SEO that promise a lot and deliver nothing. I listen to Chris and Charles every time I am in the UTE driving from Sydney to Canbury. I'm assuming that's you, the Outback oops. or maybe the freeway. That's the world's most boring drive made even easier by us. Best news is I can now hear it without having to sit beside the speakers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what's up. Yeah, thank you. We did get our sound improved. I have zero SEO experience. However, like most things with a smart small startup, I cannot afford to pay other people just yet to improve my ranking. The good news is, is that I have improved my Google organic impressions by 11% and my organic clicks are up 9% mm -hmm. this month. I up. haven't even had time to carry out 10% of the tips that I have learned through listening to eWebStyle. Thanks for the podcast. It has kept helped keep me on track towards my, my online, online vision. vision. Punch in the face to you, David. And you know what was cool about that? Um, he mentioned these organic impressions, right? You know, Webmaster Tools is now showing you search queries, which, which shows you how many impressions you're getting. And, and that's really one of the only ways you can kind of figure out what keywords you're ranking for because of the not provider situation. And so kudos to that, because we had a client in today who didn't understand that higher impressions means your ranking is going up because you're being seen more. And that explains the 9% increase in clicks. So punch in the face to you, David, that's what's up. Excellent. Wesley Brown says, awesome podcast, guys. I learned so much about SEO from you. Informative and fun. Yep, infotainment. S. Wesley Brown. Wesley Brown says, great SEO podcast. I always learn so much from you guys. Thanks. You're welcome. Bop, over Punch the top. In the face. Punch in the face. Oh, man, you're getting, you're getting, <laughs> getting nice with these people. <laughs> Mark Fago says, great podcast and valuable info. Bop, punch in the Do face. Do not forego the punch in the face. Uh, Arabelle Martin, love, love your podcast. Thanks so much for all the great tips and great laughs. You're the only podcast I listen to on a weekly basis. That's Punch in the face to Arabelle, Jesse Pierce. Hey guys, okay, here's a long one. Here we go. Hey guys, I've been uh, I've been away for almost a year due to shifting interests. I know. Sorry. Yeah, we'll kick in the shins. You're back. We'll take it back. Uh, but I'm back listening to you. I know that good SEO has shifted to creating quality, shareable content. Not that I'm going to focus my efforts on old SEO techniques, but I'm wondering if the old techniques, like form signatures, blog comments, directories, social bookmarkings. Uh, article websites and press release sites have an effect on at all on ranking. I'm sure they have less an effect than before or have they been totally devalued by Google and Bing and are they just a waste of time? Thank you again for all your help. Two huge ass punches in the face to both of you. Thank you. Punch in the face to you, face. Jesse. Yeah. Um, let me answer your question. They do have some value, but the key is making sure you're doing them right now. Because if you do them any kind of way wrong, like anything suspect, spammy about it, uh, then they will have a negative impact more than they have a positive impact. Uh, because the form signatures and links back to you, if you're doing that, don't use anchor text. All right, that'll that'll get that's a big no no. And so the the tactics necessarily haven't changed. How you use them has. So unfortunately, when that was kind of popular, anchor text was the big deal. Now you can still do that, but use your website name as an anchor text, or use your company name, or click here, or something like that. But don't don't use your main key phrase as the anchor text when doing that because um, that that won't work for you. The blog comments we were just talking about actually, um, those work well. Those are more for like 
user conversions and things like that, I don't believe they're going to have much assistance in, in your site ranking, though. Yep. Uh, finally, we've got Kevin Clouch. These guys made this subject much more entertaining and easy to listen to than I had ever anticipated. <laughs> the <laughs> moment I heard, don't, don't be a douche, douche, I knew that I had found my Mr. Miyagi of search engine optimization. Wax off. Wax off. Wax off. Yeah. We could do a Chinese <laughs> Southern accent. Uh, keep on doing what you do, fellas. Kevin, punch in the face to fellas. you. That's what's up. Fellas. He, he knew it was Texan Day, so he was like, hey, what's up? Are they going to read it on Texan Day? <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we have uh, just a little bit of news. Okay. Uh, I've got two pieces. Uh, mobile apps overtake PC internet usage in the U.S. Mobile S apps overtake desktop PC usage. Yep. That's, so that's, I, I believe it, that totally. It's interesting that they broke out b web browsing on from cell phones versus apps. So yeah. that's like your Facebook app, your Twitter app, your Pinterest app, or whatever. So it says 55% of traffic was mobile, 47% was apps, 8% was browsers. I, I, I could agree with that. That's pretty cool, right? And then fine, th I just think this is interesting. Snow Leopard, which is a Mac OS, right? Mm -hmm. And XP, which is a Microsoft OS, are about to both end support very shortly. Well, yeah, you better upgrade. Yeah, time to upgrade. Not online. Yeah. Windows 7. I don't know what Windows 7 sounds like, except... Damn it! <laughs> well, that's what Vista sounded like. I, I actually like 7. Yeah, 7's actually really good. <laughs> yeah, I like 7. Vista and 8 is... Mm. That's, the, that's what 8 sounds like. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Not really sure. All right, that is the potatoes of our <laughs> podcast. Time to get into the meat. Um, so today's meat comes from Search Engine Journal, Punch in the Face to uh, Sujan Patel, posting an article, Seven Simple Ways to Improve Ad Copy Conversions. And I really like this article because I've been doing a lot of PPC lately, um, a lot of different ad groups, a lot of testing and things of that nature. And so uh, let, let's get right into it. Um, he has some pretty good points here. Uh, so the first technique is tweak your headlines. And that's key. She goes on to say headlines are essentially the uh, the are essentially your most make it or break it pieces of copy and this is so true you understand with the with the headline especially in a in a in let's say uh, a, a, a PPC ad the headline is the first thing they see frankly not even in a PPC ad but in a SERP result that title is also the headline that they see when looking at the results that's your first opportunity to sell them that's the first opportunity you have for them to understand what they'll get when they click on your link and so it's very important that you take advantage of that headline tweak it if you're getting traffic or, or maybe you're getting tons of impressions and and not clicks really tweak your headline because uh, it probably can be improved um, number two focus on the benefits um, this is key you know in uh, kind of sales sales 101 was all about fab I remember going through classes of feature advantage and benefit right and so in regards to an ad copy um, especially a PPC ad you have limited characters and so you don't really have a lot of time to go into detail about the features the advantages and the benefits so focus on the benefit and uh, I'll, and I'll use us as an example right so for example when we when we promote the podcast or, or or better yet even SEO the benefit to you doing SEO is that your branding increases you get more traffic and, and those tra that traffic turns into leads now the features of that is that you have you know all sorts of keywords you're being ranked for and things of that nature but that's not really the selling point the selling point is what happens after the click because you're in that position yeah that's the benefit you're selling and, business growth right? yeah, yeah business growth and, and 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 everything that comes with that yeah. and not necessarily the art on how to get there and um, and I think that's why you know that's why we grow yep <laughs> so focus on the benefit uh, number three answer objections um, and so and they're talking about inside the ad um, I disagree with that slightly um, depending on where your ad is if this is a banner ad uh, then maybe right because you'll have enough real estate and time to do that but if this is a, a PPC ad uh, which was which was you know was talking PPC then you may not be able to, to answer all the objections I will say mention that objection on the landing page like wherever they land at. Yeah. Um, if your ad is focusing on the benefit, then as soon as they click, they need to see that benefit again and immediately see the objections that they will likely have and, yeah. and address them immediately. Yeah. Address them graphically, address them with a video, address them with bullet points, address them with an infographic, yep. with address the them somehow. <laughs> 
but address them immediately. <laughs> right. Let's see here. That was number three. Um, number four. Oh, I like test. the, like the A-B split test. Yeah. Test everything. This everything. is kind of consistent. Past few podcasts, we've been talking about this, um, especially with PPC. It, it's just that important. Test everything. And if it's working, great. Use that as your control and test again because uh, testing is that important. You can always get better. Matter of fact, I would, duh, you should be <laughs> testing everything. Um, number five, connect with your audience, right? Speak we their talk language. About this a lot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you have to communicate effectively with the people who you are marketing to. And so, if, for example, if your target is maybe um, an urban community, uh, then speak that language. Yep. You may it's okay to use slang in your ads if, if that's what your target audience is speaking. Yep. Um, if you're targeting, you know, uh, corporations and 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 you know, white collar type products then speak that language right don't have any misspellings don't use slang use proper grammar because that's that's your audience yeah um mm-hmm. speak their language um number six incorporate power words i really like this one power words could be you know you or free instantly new those are power words that are inside ads that kind of draw people's attention and they make your ad seem a little better um, I, I want to add to that and say incorporate the correct action in your ad. What does that mean, Chuck? So let's say you're 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 running the ad to download the latest, I don't know, white paper, right? In your ad, use the word download. Don't use the word get. Don't use the word right. buy or whatever it is. If you want them to download it, tell them download. Yeah. Because that's they're looking to download it, and your 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 conversion rate will go up. Um, last one, number seven, uh, improve your offer. At the end of the matter, she says, um, if you're facing ad copy that isn't converting, consider the fact that your text is not the problem. It just might be your offer. Yeah. At the end of the day, your ad, your offer could just suck. Yeah. Right. I mean, you may need to go back to the drawing board and regroup what you're offering because, um, it's not competitive. Everybody else is doing it. Frankly, your competitor may be doing it better than you, and so your ad just is not your offer is not really working. Go back, review your list of products and services, come up with something new, <laughs> and then and try to market that. And hey, I have an idea. Why don't you A B test your <laughs> offer? Yeah, definitely create several offers and A B test them. So, shout out to Susan uh, Patel, Search Engine Journal, great article. Um, I'll post that on Facebook, and uh, we'll tweet it and everything else. So. Cool. Just to make sure you guys know how to follow us, you can follow us Facebook.com slash eWebStyle. Twitter.com slash eWebStyle. YouTube.com slash eWebStyle. And finally, you can send us an email, podcast at e-webstyle.com. Dot com. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But I guess a Yahoo, Yahoo. is perfect right now. Yeah. We got to get one of those in there. <laughs> Um, y'all come down to Texas and check out the rodeo. <laughs> By the way, you may not know this. It's I think it's the second largest rodeo in in on the planet. It probably it's, is. I it's think huge. The, the Alberta one might be. We're like in co- competition with Canada. That's kind of this feels wrong. Yeah, <laughs> the cold rodeo. Yeah, it's like it's the ice rodeo, <laughs> which is infinitely more entertaining when you're trying to rustle cattle on ice. <laughs> 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 I'd pay to see that. Yeah. <laughs> that I'd nice. fly to Canada and pay to see that. Um, do we have it? We got some what, right? A little bit of what news. All right, here we go. What? Man, so this is what goes out to, to Michael Jordan, one of my favorite, you know, first greatest player of all time yeah. in my book. Uh, and, when, and, and, I, and I wear and his apparel. a damn good shoe. It makes a great shoe, and which that's what this what about. Okay. And in 2013, right. he grossed $90 million dollars. From, from Nike. Wow. Just from Nike. Right. Not all the other endorsements. Not just Nike. Ninety million from Nike. Okay. Jordan's sold two point two five billion, billion dollars in okay. Jordan dollars. Okay. The next closest one was three hundred million. Wow. And that was LeBron's. Exactly. Whoa. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, punch in the face to Jordan. I feel like I. I almost contributed to that. Oh, I thought yeah, about 2013. Yeah. I was like, man, I bought two pair of Jordans. I bought a hoodie. I bought a couple of t-shirts, some socks. Yeah. My next order should be free or something. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Hook us up, Jordan. <laughs>
So that's it, man. That's cool. That was our what? That was our show. Thank you guys for tuning in for the best SEO podcast and internet marketing podcast on, on iTunes. iTunes on the known planet on the, the universe. universe in this galaxy yeah, in Canada rodeos. Yeah, that, even the Canada rodeo listens to our podcast. Uh, thank you guys, and, and actually we're the most popular because of you. Thank you guys yeah. so much. We get great reviews. We really appreciate that. We've worked hard to get the sound quality back up. Uh, I actually got a cowboy hat, by the way. This is probably the third time I've ever worn this. What's interesting about our rodeo is everyone goes out and buys brand new rodeo Still. clothes. <laughs> so you end up with like brand new, fresh that you jeans. Once. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's kind of what the real cowboys make fun of when they come here. Um, Thank you guys for tuning in. This is it's it's a pleasure to do this podcast. It's yeah. a pleasure to get the feedback. Until the next podcast, my name is Chris Burris. Charles Lewis. Bye bye for now. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. Y'all come back now. <laughs> you hear? <laughs> <laughs>